Hello, materialistic minions. It's me, Bo Shevasu, coming to you today with this skinny little microwave. Now, before you get too far in this video, this is not a full-blown installation video. I'm just gonna give you a few of my personal hints, tips, and tricks. If, in fact, you're either thinking about this, you're in the middle of installing this, or you're just about to install it, so you're welcome for telling you that in advance so you don't get all the way through this thing and you're like, why didn't he show us step-by-step? -step? That's because there are other YouTube videos out there showing you step-by-step -step how to install this thing. One such video I did find, and he mentioned that you probably do need two people to hoist this thing up into position. I would recommend that. Don't try to put it up yourself, mainly because there are two little tabs, there and there. And these are very, very difficult when you are up in this position and you are trying to put it in position and, and you're blindly trying to put these uh, little tabs into the slots, that it's very, very difficult. So this is how it kind of looks. It's uh, obviously, it's, it's pretty skinny. Our, our other microwave came all the way down here as indicated by those holes. So it came all the way down here and it really took up, you know, this is from my perspective, y you can't really see back there because it took up a lot of your, your visual real estate. You couldn't quite see your entire range space. This allows you to actually have a lot more space to work with. And who needs a microwave more than, you know, this tall? Are you defrosting a turkey or baking a cake? You Probably not. Most of the stuff is probably like a bag of popcorn or maybe uh, a little bit of pizza or something. Uh, we have been using this for a few days. I, I really wanted to kind of take my time and see if in fact I liked this thing before I actually went forward and created a, a little review. I like the fact that it's very minimalist. You'll see that there are no buttons. It's pretty much just a, you know, 30 seconds right there and we can stop that. Or if we want to add the 30 seconds, you can continue doing that like that. The touch sensitivity is a little weird. Sometimes when you click it like that, it doesn't quite work. So you really have to like intentionally push it each time. So it's not as uh, touch sensitive as let's say a smartphone, for example. Um, but if we were to stop that, there's that. And also you don't have to push this in order to open it. See that slight delay? It's probably gonna add up and kind of bother you. You don't have to push that. Instead, look under here. See this little handle? You can just pull like that manually. Don't have to have it automatically open. Takes, a, takes like one second, like a little hiccup before it opens. So overall, I really like the placement. Yes, I did, in fact, hook it up to my existing uh, duct system. You will need some of this, uh, not duct tape, because obviously you don't put duct tape on ducts, you get this uh, actual HVAC metallic tape. Much stickier and it's actually heat resistant. So go to the hardware store, get yourself some of that stuff. Uh, it matched up perfectly with my existing duct and um, it uh, looks very nice, very, very nice. It's a, a little awkward trying to keep this up at the same time, so you might have to actually like um, put a brace and screw it up against your back cabinet to, cabinet to kind of keep this up instead of it falling down. It, as you go along, it will, it will work just fine. So the overall steps for installing this thing are as follows. You're going to obviously rip out your existing microwave. You're going to be installing a plate. It's a mounting plate back there. And you just inch it all the way up to the very top or uh, the very bottom of your cabinets. And then once that's in place into your studs, then you simply put this into position and it is held in position by two bolts. There's a bolt right there that goes straight down. And then on the other side, similarly, there's a bolt in the cabinet that goes straight down into here. Uh, I did have to change a few of these vents, uh, which they give you directions on doing that because of course I don't want air coming out when I turn on the fan button. So right now, the uh, it's coming up through there and it is actually going uh, out through the duct system. Oh boy, that's a little hard to do with one hand. I'll fix that when I have two hands and not one hand on the camera. Let's go ahead and do that level and then that and that. So as you saw, there are three levels which will suffice wonderfully. I believe the other model 
uh, which is slightly more expensive. You can have four different modes for the fan, but three I think is just fine. And then of course it also has the light. And we can turn that on low and then of course we turn it off. That's it. Okay, so overall, five out of five stars, highly recommended. I love the innovative, sleek design. When you step back, it just works wonderfully. I uh, do keep in mind, it does pop out quite a bit right here. And if that bothers you, if that troubles you, um, then maybe, maybe don't get something like that because there's a lot of depth there. Uh, so I was kind of surprised that it did still come out quite a bit, but the fact that it's so skinny makes up for it. So that's it. Five out of five stars. I'll put the link to this in the description below if you want to look at other reviews. My name is Bo Shevesu. Catch you later.